Semiconductors are, though you all know, they're small computer chips that power virtually everything in everyday life. And they were originated here in the United States of America. We used to own not only the, the patent, but the technology and the production. Your phone, your car, your refrigerator, your washing machine, hospital equipment, the internet, the electric grid, and so much more depend on these chips. So this is going to create thousands of additional jobs helping build more American products. For example, you know, inflation is a problem, which I'll speak to in a second. That's real. And a lot of people are being hurt by it. But guess what? One-third of the inflation in America is a consequence of the cost of automobiles. One-third. You know why? Because of the shortage of semiconductors. They can't build them. And therefore, the ones that aren't being built cause the price of those who are being built to go much higher. This announcement helps fix that problem. Three days ago, I called a meeting in the White House of CEOs from General Motors, Ford, Microsoft, Hewlett Packard, and others. Mary Barra, General Motors CEO, announced in the White House an initial $7 billion investment in Michigan to manufacture electric vehicles, creating 4,000 new quality jobs. That's on top of the announcement made by CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, last year, investing $11 billion in electric vehicles, creating 11,000 new jobs. And today, right here in western Pennsylvania, the Union Pacific Railroad is announcing the largest purchase of American-made battery electric locomotives in all of history. And by the way, guess who's supplying those batteries? General Motors. Folks, I want to tell you, it matters. It matters a lot. The company who will build these locomotives is called Wabtec. W-A-B in their name is because they grew out of the old Westinghouse Air Brake Company, a classic Pittsburgh manufacturer. Wabtec is based here in Pittsburgh. And these locomotives will be built up in Erie. It's the same plant that Thomas Edison built the General Electrics more than, for General Electric more than a century ago. Not only will these locomotives be running here at home, powering our economy and decreasing pollution, Wabtec will also be exporting them to Canada, to Australia, and all around the world, again, creating more good-paying jobs. <laughs> Folks. In the process, reducing climate change, generating jobs here in western Pennsylvania. As I said, good-paying jobs you can raise a family on. 